instructions are included, but of course it's a lot more fun to follow along on a YouTube video. <laughs>
Mix it up a little bit. And you want to just coat the entire thing. Once it's good and soaked, you're going to leave it there for 10 minutes. You do not want to let it dry, but giving it a little bit of time will allow it to uh, work its magic and get some of the dirt and grime loosened out. Meanwhile, we're going to come over here and get our hose ready. You should always take off your high pressure water gun. Basically, we just want some clean, gentle flowing water. High pressure will damage your filter. And while you're waiting for the rest of that time, you can grab a clean shop rag and just make sure that there's no dust or debris inside your air box. Get her ready for a new filter to be installed. All right, next we're gonna clean it. Just simply hosing it from the inside out. Closing down the outside. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, quite a bit of nasty dust and debris, most of that from the Transamerica Trail. And we have a brand new clean air filter. So next we're gonna dry this baby off naturally. Just shake it a couple times. Set it in a nice warm place to dry. Hey Chris, how you doing? Hello, hello. Okay guys, after a nice relaxing lunch and answering a few emails, time to come out here and check out our nicely dried, ready to reinstall filter. That right there is proof that South Carolina summers are pretty hot. <laughs> All right, once you've got your air filter good and clean, nice and dry, you're gonna shake up your oil treatment and we're just gonna apply nice and even. Once you've got the outside, give a good douse on the inside. And next, we're going to let that set for about 20 minutes. All right, guys, now it's time to button everything up. As long as there aren't any bare marks that need to be touched up, everything's nice and even. Got that nice pink salmon color. You should be ready to go. First thing we're going to do is just put the hose back on here. Spin it around. Basically, you just want to make sure that these flat platforms are covering the original bolt holes where the OEM air filter came off. Remembering that the breather comes out of the right hand side of the bike, you want to make sure that end goes in there. And just wiggle it back in the way it came out. Of course, if you don't have heated gear and all kinds of electronics connected, this is a lot simpler process. Now we're just going to reach back down in there, tighten up the two lower bolts. Excellent. That's pretty solid. Now we're going to install the two upper bolts.
Next, we'll attach this guy back. And last but not least, reconnect your battery. Well, there you have it guys, and that is how you change out your KNN air filter. If you still have your original stock filter, you might want to consider switching. Uh, it's a nice high flow system. And as I mentioned before, it's rewashable, reusable, uh, a little bit better for the environment and uh, does a great job. I've been using the K&N aero filters on my bike for many years. Uh, took it to uh, Mexico and back, rode all the way across the U.S. on the Trans-American Trail and back, which is very dusty. And um, it's been doing a fantastic job. The part number again was HA5013, and you'll need your KNN recharge kit to go with it to uh, clean it and uh, relubricate it. Uh, so let me know what you think. I'm curious, you guys. Tell me how many of you work on your own bikes, do your own oil changes, do your own air filter changes. Leave a comment below. I'm, I'm interested to know how many of you do your own work and how many of you prefer to just let the dealer take care of it. And uh, if you like this video, if it helped in any way, please give us a thumbs up. Like the videos, subscribe. Hey man, we got lots of good stuff coming and uh, we'll see you on the next one.